Lester, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to talk with us. We're excited that you're going to be back in the Rose City next week. So tell me a little bit about this Across America tour. Well, we did it about a year or so ago, but it was mainly aimed uh, towards kind of the political conversation going out of the country. This time, we just want to get out and look at uh, some national stories through the eyes of, of five American cities that are, are wrestling with things that many other cities are wrestling uh, with, but we want to see it through their eyes. This is a, a broadcast that our regular viewers know uh, part of our signature is getting out, uh, getting away from New York and, and the East Coast bubble, if you will, and to, to go where our viewers are and see what matters to them. So how did you go about picking these cities? Well, we tried to find, obviously, regional cities. We wanted to be on the West Coast. Uh, I actually do this broadcast on the West Coast, as you may know, uh, quite a bit out of Los Angeles. But we were looking for another city that had its own kind of unique flavor. And certainly, there's no city more unique in the West uh, than Portland. I can say that as, as a proud Westerner. Um, so it seemed like a natural, um, you know, Denver, there's a lot of fascinating things happening there. Uh, they've had a, uh, obviously a prolonged experiment now or experience, if you will, with a legalized pot. That's something that many other communities are just beginning to look at. So we want to see how that's going. Uh, Pittsburgh is going through a renewal. Chicago is, uh, is finally getting, uh, turning the, the corner on its violence problem. We're going to talk about that. And then we'll get down to the south to, uh, uh, Raleigh and and look at the issue with uh, Confederate war, war monuments. So it's a pretty we wanted to make sure we covered as much of the country as we could in five days. Yeah, that's a lot in five days. I do know that you get restless when you're stuck in that studio all the time and you do like to get out and find out what's happening in the country. Why do you think that's important? Well, you know, it's a couple of reasons. I mean, I, I get to a lot of places, but unfortunately, um, it's when generally something bad has happened, some right. kind of a natural disaster or some kind of a crime. And, you know, I, I go to these places and people talk to me. They want to share stories. And I always say, well, you know, at another time, hopefully I'll come back here under better circumstances. And that's kind of, kind of how I look at this. I'm getting out now at a time that, you know, hopefully there's no you know pressing horrible story, but one where we can just kind of explore things in different communities and get a feel. It, it, it makes us better journalists when we understand our audience. And our audience obviously extends far beyond uh, Manhattan. And um, I like to talk to people. I like to know what people are talking about. You know, we've had a, this incredible focus on politics, which I get it, it's understandable, but there's a lot more to all of us than politics. There's things that communities are struggling with, that families are struggling with, and we want to get into some of that. So what do you think viewers take away from it? They may watch this come next Monday and say, I don't live in Portland. Why do I care that he's in Portland? Well, in Portland, we're going to look at the opioid crisis. Portland, as you know, has had some, uh, some success, right. uh, you know, putting, letting first responders do the follow-up visits, that sort of thing. Uh, they're making a dent, and that's something that a lot of communities can learn from. I was in Chicago today working on a story in preparation for our visit there uh, with the police department. And one of the things they talk about is we're learning from other police departments. The, the superintendent there is on the phone constantly with the L.A. police chief, with the New York uh, police commissioner. And so we try to find stories that have the, that unifying thread that other communities could look at and go, hey, we're dealing with that, too. Is it true we might get you on a bike? I would love to be on a bike. Uh, we are just turning the corner here with our weather. Uh, I often ride my bike to work. And I know I remember my last trip to Portland. It was a, um, and I remember seeing not just bike lanes like other cities, but like commuter bike <laughs> lanes. Uh, obviously, a huge number of of folks in Portland get on their bikes and commute to work. I can certainly identify with that. So I am, I've told the producers, let's get that in my schedule. I want to do that. Yeah, we hope we can do that. And I have to tell you, we don't care about the weather. We ride in all kinds of <laughs> well, weather here. It, it, <laughs> it's raining here today, so I will be on the subway going home tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you have been in Portland before, right? I have, yeah. My, I, you know, I have family in the Pacific Northwest in, in the Seattle area. I grew up uh, in Northern California and uh, many times had, had been through Oregon as, as a kid and, and certainly as, as a journalist. It is, uh, it is one of my favorite cities. Um, I love the, uh, I know, I just, I just love the pace. I love the uniqueness in a, in a, in a country where so much it tends to be the same. Um, you know, I love the fact that Portland has just this unique feel. I always say, and I say it in a good way, it just beats to its own drum, and that's a rare thing these days. Yes, well, 
I'll tell you, once you get back here, we're going to be reluctant to let you go. They're going to want to take you on a bike. They're going to want to take you hiking. They're going to want to feed you all the great local food. So uh -huh. we think Lester Holt from Portland all week could be a possibility one of these days. Well, well, bring bring it on. We don't uh, we don't exactly know where we're going to be broadcasting from. We've got some folks there working on that question right now, but I hope to meet as many folks as we can. Well, that's great. We look forward to seeing you. So, come on down. All right, we'll see you soon.